They don't want y'all to know this, man. Listen, man. Too much truth, y'all. Too much truth, y'all. When you kick too much truth, this is what they do. But we right back. I need to, I need to pick my shit out, too. What's up, Keisha? Keisha, who the first one came back in. I'm going to just start with you and keep going. I don't even want to wait for it. Because they're going to keep trying to do this, y'all. They're going to keep trying to cut it off every time we get on their ass. I'm kind of We're going to be up to part 2,500 and a half before the night is out. Just because they own this bitch ass shit. But it's the truth. Every time I'm saying that name, that's a key word. Fucking alive and reconnecting and shit because I'm saying that name. I'm saying that name. They don't want that name said in that context. You feel me? But I'm not lying to y'all. I'm, I'm telling y'all the truth about this whole little bullshit Jesus story. You feel me? Y'all keep sharing, 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 sharing a lot. Keep sharing that shit, man. Just share it, share it, share it. Watch party. You feel me? You feel me? But I don't even want to pin the YouTube channel right now because you should know it. University of, Uni University of Cosmic Intelligence. I just want to keep going, right? But with this Jesus character, y'all, you know what I'm saying? The Bible, man, like, it's so manipulative. You feel me? Because these things they telling you in the Bible doesn't even coincide with you. It don't coincide with you. Still chasing gold. I see you, God. It don't coincide with you. None of these four people you relate to. They don't know you and you don't know them. So why are you praying to them for and you wonder why they not answering your prayers? They don't know you. They don't know you. They don't know you and you don't know them. All right, you got to talk to your ancestors. So you got to understand people, this Bible, man. You know, this Bible is so kind of All right. They want you to worship it. Praise it. Right. That's what they told you to do. Praise it. Worship it. Why? Why did they do that? Why did they do all this line of religion? Why? All right. Why did they do it? Because they know the spiritual connection that we have to something for the soul. Something. All right. But, you know, the people that killed Jesus, who killed them? The Roman Catholic Church. If you even want to go off that, who was the people chasing Jesus? The Pharisees and the Sadducees. Who were they? They were the Roman Catholic Church. All your high priests of that time were trying to kill that man. All right? So you got to ask because he was telling the same shit I'm telling you today. Y'all are gods. It's the same shit that Jesus was saying in that gospel story. Now, we know Jesus, the imagery didn't exist, but the story, the gospel, yeah, that's the same thing he was preaching in the gospel, people. The same exact shit. And that's why they was trying to kill him. All right, that's why they wanted them dead. Okay, so that's why we break free from this matrix construct of this religious shit. We praising false gods, false idol tree people, false idols, false gods. That's what we praising. The didn't know it. What was great? Satan's greatest trick, y'all fooling the whole world that he didn't what he did that he did not exist. All right, he tricked us into worshiping him through this Jesus character in this Bible. All right, which we he tricked us into worshiping him through it. Why are you think in the Bible they talk all this shit about? Drinking the blood. He who drinks the blood shall have forever lasting life. That's some cannibal shit, right? That's because they ass eat meat. They're animals. They are man animals. They drink the blood. Our blood to be exact because we are the gods. And the, literally the sons that we do, those are God. And that's why they say in Revelations, fear the return of the son of God. They're not talking about his bitch ass. They're not talking about his bitch ass. I repeat. The son of God is our actual son that is returning. That's the son of God because we are the gods. I repeat, when they talk to you in the Bible about fear of the return of the son of God, they was not talking about this Jesus, this motherfucking slave ship. They was not talking about this story. They was talking about the actual son that's going to come in the air. Second son, fear the return of the son of God. Fear the son of God. That's technology, S-U-N, son. It's only one son, and that's the son that's in the solar system. Remember, I told y'all. Technology, right, which is what? And when you speak it, no casting, we still dealing with the spells. It's the history and the religious spell, right? So, we break it down this religious spell and we get into the bullshit and we learn today that we have been hoaxed, people. We have been hoaxed. We have been hoaxed on a metaphysical level, on a physical level, on a spiritual level, on a soulful level, on a mental level. They did us dirty, y'all. They did us dirty, y'all, with religion. All right? Because we suffer from that to this day. All right? Takes the power right out of your motherfucking hands. Because you praying to somebody else. You hoping that you going to them. For example, right now, would you sit in this room and pray for the light to come on? You can sit in this room and pay your tithes. Never committed to seeing a day in your life. This is how the Bible full of shit. It takes the power out of you. I like using this analogy. You could Let's take the most diehard Christian that ain't never uh, used profanity, never did no wrong, pay their tithes on time, never missed a day in church. Sit them in the middle of this room, y'all, and cut the light off. And tell them to, cut, and tell them to pray to their God. Or they Jesus, or they Buddha, or they Allah, or they Virgin Mary to cut the light back on. I bet that light don't come back on. I bet they be in this motherfucking room with the light off for years. The light ain't gonna come on until they get up, walk over there, and cut the light on. Wow, that was Jesus, huh? Wow, that was Allah, huh? Wow, that was Virgin Mary, huh? Wow, that was Buddha, huh? Or was that your ass that got your ass up and did it? 
See, <clears throat> your whole life, every time good things happen to you, it was you that made it happen, not God. It was you. You either did something good or you went and meditated. Prayer is another form of meditation, people. All right? But the real prayer is to praise, which is why you're supposed to speak to people and say, peace, beloved. Peace, goddess. That's why I tell y'all, I salute the divinity in you. You are the most powerful. Mwah, I blow kisses to the sky when I come out. You know what I'm saying? I, I love everybody because I love myself. Everybody is everybody. This is what makes us one. This is how God is omni. All right? So, because, you know, yeah, yeah, they be playing. They be playing, man, with the YouTube, with the uh, Facebook Lives. But, uh, uh, but yeah, you know, so I'm trying to give y'all the esoterical breakdown behind this. All right? So, <clears throat> with religion, it takes that from you because now you stuck sitting here waiting for somebody else to sit here and come bless your life or make something happen for you. Jesus, Allah, Virgin Mary, Buddha, ain't none of them motherfuckers ever did enough for nobody black or Latino. Facts. Anything good ever happened in your life, you are the reason it happened. And anything bad that has happened to you, you are the reason it happened. This is a, 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 a real fact about life. This is what makes you more of a God. To understand that power, like, hold on. Stop blaming people. Religion taught you how to blame people and think it's okay. Oh, I'm going to blame God. It's your fault, God. I ain't got this. So why you dealt me this hand? No. No, that takes the power away from you. What, 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 what Moses do in the Bible? See, the Bible is good to use for history rhetoric and symbology. You have to have your third eye open and decode the Bible for what it really is, though. But in the Moses story, that's, that was another symbolic of your powers. Moses cried out to God, right, when he was running from the pharaohs. God, God. Uh, uh, he, he didn't even say God. He said, Eli, Eli. Uh, Lama Matuche, I have you. Eli means God in Arabic, right? So Eli, Eli, Lama Matuche. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? That's what Moses, I mean, I mean I'm tripping. That's what Jesus said. Moses was at the, my bad, y'all. Moses was at the water. And was waiting to go across the water and was getting chased by the Egyptian pharaohs. My bad, y'all talk fast. My mind be racing. Now, Jesus, Moses was getting chased by the Egyptian pharaohs. And when he got to the water, the Red Sea, quote unquote, let them tell it. He did not part the Red Sea. What's the first thing Moses did? He cried up to God. His God, God, why has thou forsaken me? And what did God tell him? No, I, everything, you don't need me. Why are you crying to me when everything you, you have the ability to do everything you need to do within yourself? And once he told Moses that, Moses thought about that and he parted that Red Sea, right? So that's symbolic of how us. We get caught up in religion, and that's why they gave it to us, to take the power from you from meditating and creating realities around you, which is what your ancestors did. Religion was literally given to you to bind your soul and spirit to these low-frequency lies. Remember, this is an energy war, people. It's an energy war, all right? It's an energy war. So this is why they tell you so many lies in the Quran. Like I said, like I was telling Yassin, <clears throat> let's not keep repeating his name. They like to shut us down when we say his name too much. You know he an agent, but uh, like I was telling him, right? Why do Muslims even face the East when they prostrate? Because they was taught that, 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 that to praise the sun. Because the sun rises in the east. So they bow down and face the east when Muslims go down and they make their salats. Because the east represents the sun. And who created the sun? The gods. And they worship the people that created Islam, worship the gods originally. So this is why they teach the Islam, people in Islamic religion, that they have to face the east. All right? You know, I'm going to be talking to y'all more about the Moors and stuff too. Because I told y'all the Moors, the Moors betrayed us, man. They didn't try to, but they 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 were uh, manipulated into doing that. So we don't hold that against them. You know, they was manipulated. But uh, this 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 Quran, this Bible, in this Bible is more detrimental to us than the Quran because the average black person don't really be a Muslim. They be more into Christianity. Although we have a lot of black people that's in the Muslim faith, more blacks and Latino people are in Christianity. So that's why I like to say Bible, Bible, Bible. But the Bible, man, you can go on and on, man. You can just go on and on about um. You know the essence of it and, and, and how it has been used to steal the entities and the energy from us you know and, and still our, our whole uh our whole geological makeup all right we know nothing about our genomes or our powers or any of that because we believe it in the bible and we believe in a religion organized religion man-made religions that was put here to further divide us amongst us so that's why i said in my post no more man-made religions neither we we got to let go of all that we was never religious before they came on our planet people we was not religious we was just always a spiritual and soulful group of entities that created gods god race all right we never had organized religion religion has brought a lot of chaos you can't put seven people on this live right now if i pull them into my live and they from seven different denominations they're gonna get to a whole argument religious people are some of the most judgmental people and some of the most evil people on the planet and that is a fact because what they are taking part in is not designed to strengthen their soul but only weakening all right so um yeah peace god peace god definitely they definitely can't stop us like so you know i, I want to break it down to y'all you know what i'm saying because i mean we could just throw stuff out there right but no we need to break things down you know what i'm saying we need to talk about it we talking about it we talking about this bible we you know we we get into the root of it you know we get into the root of it you know what i'm saying and like i say all the orgies and you know all the, the contradictions you know it's, it's just so many and that's why i'm, I'm asking y'all y'all need to go read the bible read these different stories read psalms proverbs most of us only read that. Read the Old Testament, New Testament. You'll notice how these stories telling you a certain history, and it's going to all tie back to them original 12 tribes or 13 tribes. 
All right, that's why I was telling y'all earlier, Hebrew Israelites, and that has nothing to do with us. They the Hebrew Israelites. So they try to merge us with that too. You got something like, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. No, you are not. You are beyond religion. Religion was made to enslave you. Religion came after you, not before you. So how can you be any religion? I repeat, once again to the gods and the goddesses, religion was made to control you and enslave you. Religion came after you, not before you. So how can you be a god and be religious? Religion came after you. So is time. History, all that came after you. We predate history. We predate time. We predate religion. We are the gods. We created this planet. We created the rays of the sun. We created the cosmos. And we still do these. That's what you came back here for, to create. But when you were born, they hijacked your DNA and relocked it. Babies are born with their DNA unlocked. They locked your DNA as a baby. With the nanobot technology they put in that they injected into your blood cells when they took you from your mother's arms. Okay? They gave your mother a birth, a birth certificate, which is not needed. What is a birth certificate? It's a, a certificate of your birth. Because what is what is a birth? Ships, when a ship docks, it, it is what? At its birth. Your mother water is owned by these crazy ships. Come out of your mother's water. Okay? They have a doctor there as a witness. Your mother is the ship that carried the product. You were the product that she pushed out. When she pushed this product out for the government, they had a witness right there called a doctor who printed up a birth certificate. This birth certificate lets the government, the reptilian shapeshifters, know that you were born. But they don't know who your spirit and soul is because you're in that physical avatar. So this is why they measure your dark matter energy levels. By taking you as a baby, injecting you with nanobots, and drawing the blood to test the magnesium and the dark matter energy levels within your blood. This lets them know exactly what type of Ananuki you are returning. No birth is new. Let me repeat. No birth is new. Every birth is reincarnation, people. When it comes to blacks and Latinos that are being born, we only reincarnate. And after we get them off our motherfucking planet, starting December 21st when this war really kick off, because it's already kicked off. We don't even have to worry about the cycle of death and reincarnation no more. That spell, all that's going to be ended with their ass being eradicated. Okay? Okay? So, we getting deep. Yeah, drop them snorkel emojis. Yeah, it get deep. It get real deep. It get real, 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 real deep. Why they gave you religion. What that Bible is meant to do to you. You believe that the devil is not in you. You have no understanding about the metaphysical you or how you work on the inside. Okay? Because you believe that you're supposed to live earth as a meat suit and then you're going to die and then you got Jesus waiting up in heaven for you if you do right or if you do wrong. The devil, which is Satan, is waiting for you in a lake of fire with a red jumpsuit on. That's the nigga on the bag of flaming hot Cheetos. That ain't how the devil look. That's not how the devil look. You looking at the devil every day when you look in the mirror. You are the devil. Facts. And you're also looking at God every day when you look in the mirror. You are God. Facts. Because you have a higher self and a lower self. And you have what's called free motherfucking will to choose which way you want to go about this shit. You're going you gonna to lock into your higher self and do good things and rise. Or you're going to lock into your lower self and do negative things and de sin. The devil is in you as well as God. All right. Facts. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't want to. See, that's what makes you powerful when you, when you realize that. Because who created the devil, y'all? God, right? God created the devil, right? Okay, so check this out. Who is the real devil? Satan, right? Yaku, right? Yaku was one of the what people? One of the gods. He was black slash Latino, if you want to use the words. Right? We didn't create him. We were all created at once. We all manifested out of dark matter energy at the same time. I'm talking about the god species. Okay? So Satan, what was his plan to be like us? Because we kicked him off of this planet for trying to create the human beings. Okay? So what did Satan do? He fed into his lower self. Remember, Satan, Satan is one of the gods. Did y'all forget? You have the ability to do good or evil. Yes, they call him Zeus. Zeus, Satan, Prometheus, Marduk, Intex. He has a lot of different names. It's the same nigga. I'm just helping y'all out. I don't want y'all to get confused. As years of so you don't and then go look up the creation stories of Prometheus, Satan, Inky, Marduk, Yaku, and you're gonna see it's the same motherfucking story. Zeus, same motherfucking story, different person, different name. Facts. All right. So. Um, when we talking about, you know, religion and we talking about the Bible and what it does, all right, you 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 leave here believing that. And then you see that moon they got in the sky, that moon was made to cast a snare on your soul even more. It's a bright light to lure your soul back to this plane. See, when you leave here, you're supposed to keep going. I keep telling y'all they got that moon in the sky to lure your soul back in. The moon is not natural to our planet neither, not the one that's in our sky. Oh yeah, we get deep, we get deep, deep, deep. Yeah, that moon is literally designed just to 
keep your soul locked up in the reincarnation cycle. Facts. Facts. Because you have other life forms and lifetimes that you can go into other realities and live. Facts. But a lot of people come back not on their own will, but because this moonlight is grabbing your solar energy when you leave this body. Facts. See, they have studied us down to a science. Because they want to keep you reincarnated and coming back to this realm because they had control of this realm. They don't want your spirit and soul to keep ascending and going back to Sirius star system where you come from and all that type of thing. They don't want that. Now, some of us who have high dark matter energy levels was able to break the chain of reincarnation. Because see, remember I keep telling y'all, Jesus, how they showing you didn't exist, but the story existed. So that entity existed, that being existed. Hello, beautiful. That, that being existed. Okay? So you got to understand... Yeah, it get deep. Snorkel emojis, they get deep. Why they gave you the Bible? They not just playing you for this dimension. They playing for you, for your soul in other dimensions. A lot of y'all not just playing for your soul in this dimension. I repeat, they're playing for your soul in other dimensions. All right? It get deep. And if you, and it, it get deep, y'all. It get deep. This, this, the whole, whole way you believe about the Bible and Satan and Jesus. And, think about it. You waiting for something else to happen that you can make happen yourself. Is that not the greatest form of manipulation? That's just like me. That's just like me telling you, you can't do nothing. You can't go to the grocery store without me. I got the only car in the house. And I tell you that. And then I ride off in my car. And every day I'm, I'm coming and going, coming and going. And when I'm gone from the house, you want to hop in the car and go to the grocery store. But you don't even go outside because you're like, man, I can't go outside because he took the only car. You don't even go look. You don't go look on your own to see if there's another car out there. You just believe me. Hey, he took the only car. I'm, I'm, so I can't. And then you look out the window one day, you're like, damn, it's another car. Oh, shit. Now, what's, now what happens? Now you hop your ass in the car, and now you can drive to the grocery store and get your own damn groceries, right? That's what religion has did. Religion was that, was that lie. You see? Because it makes you think that you got to go to God that makes you happen. But you are God. So all you got to do is go to yourself. Meditate and pray. That's all you got to do. Right? They told you that you got to wait to die to, to get your heaven. So you think it's okay to suffer here now on earth. Because Jesus suffered here on earth. We got to suffer like our Lord. He died for our sins. Y'all see the technology? Your whole life, you suffering, slaving, working these factory jobs. I ain't tripping because when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. I know Jesus died for my sins. Why they having? They having right now. Off of your pain and labor and energy. See the technology? Y'all see how deep it really runs? Do y'all see how deep it really runs? And you going to something outside of yourself for something that you can do yourself. And then when you pick up the phone, to call the people that can make shit happen for you, you don't even got the right number. You calling them. Look, you calling them. Muhammad, Virgin Mary, only virgin who, who, who having babies. Only virgin I had given up pussy, but she's still a virgin. Or you calling Muhammad. And, um, bro from the corner store with the nachos, with the meat, with the extra cheese. Or you calling Duncan Penderhue. Buddy with the straight hair, all right, with the straight nose and shit. You feel me? Or you calling... Jet Li, little cousin, Buddha. And you wondering why you can't get through. Pick up the phone and call your people. Because none of them gods like you. And we talking about the history spell, people. And religion spell. Mm. You talking to somebody. You, that's a false idol right False God, those people don't even exist. They never existed. They got themselves. Muhammad, Virgin, Buddha, G none of their ass existed. They were created for you to serve by human beings who understood you on a molecular level and a metaphysical level. So they already knew that you have a soul that's full of magnetism that will be attracted to this type of fuckery. Mm. Yeah. It runs very, very deep, people. Very, very deep. Also, we've been breaking down history, and we notice in history, the father of history was Herodotus, another Caucasian male. But I'm the one that's racist. No, the true racist are the people that lie to people about their history and plaster their race all over it. I'm not lying when I say human beings never invented anything. They stole everything from us. They the motherfuckers lying when they're telling you they made history and religion and all this shit. Oh, that religion shit is a spell along with, 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 with history. It completely lies to you about who the fuck you is. So you be all fucked up. Worse than any drug. Religion, that's why it's a church on every motherfucking corner in a liquor store. Because everybody drunk off religion and motherfucking liquor. They go hand in hand. And what is liquor? Spirits. So what is liquor attack? It attacks you how? Spiritually. How does religion attack you? Spiritually. 
spiritual and soulful attack energy war which is why in every black and latino community what do you see churches mas schools and liquor stores hmm you ready y'all ready to wake up from the matrix yet y'all ready to free y'all say religion no more laws man-made laws they don't even follow their fucking self they have no more power they and they never did the only power they had was the power that the gods gave them by being submissive to them and fearing them and their man-made laws and serving their gods. But that ends. That ended in 2020, y'all. It's over with. When have y'all ever heard a live like this? People talking like this like they talking nowadays. Five years ago, we wouldn't talk like this about Jesus. Ten years ago, we wouldn't talk like this about no Jesus. We have to unplug. And we are. That's why we still sitting, sitting here. And those who are not unplugged, they is not in here. You feel me? You're going to see certain university classes we hold. We're going to have three, four, five, six hundred people. But notice that the subject matter won't be this. It might be a different subject. But when we talk about this history of religious spell, only the best of the best of the best ready to, to be unplugged from this spell. But see, I'm unplugging y'all when I'm making y'all aware of these. And, I'm, and being unplugged doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good because you've been lied to. But the good thing is that you are now moving into your real truth of your real power of who and what you really are. Now do you see why they keep killing black people and killing you in all these years? Blacks and Latinos, that has nothing to do with your pigmentation, people. They know what you are, all right? None of them motherfuckers look like you. None of them look like you. None of them. None of them. All this money you send in the collection plate. Church is never getting rebuilt. Never asking why the fuck does God need your money? If he's a spirit, why does he need your money? Why the preacher got to keep sending the collection plate around from? Why does God even want your money? Hell, I don't even want your money. You want to donate? Feel free to donate. But I don't want it. I don't need it. It's not required. Is it not required in the Bible to pay tithes? It's required. Pay tithes. Give 10%. Since when God starts sitting up in heaven somewhere with a motherfucking pen talking about, yeah, you know, breaking down fractions and shit. Yeah, you know, I need motherfucking 10% of everything. I need 10% of every motherfucking thing they down there doing. Does that sound like what a spirit of God would say? Or does that sound like the words of a greedy ass human being who created a money spell that we already went through to further enslave your ass? A God. That if he was a spirit, we know this is a lie. Do you think his ass is sitting up in some white heaven, a land of milk and honey with gold paid roads, tripping off? Why the fuck you ain't gave 10% of what you got? Dumbest shit ever, right? Yeah, I mean, we could, we could decode the lies all night. Y'all know what else fucked me up while I really got out of religion, y'all? Because I, I feel like it's some Christians mad, so I'm going to stay on y'all motherfucking ass a little longer. You know what it is, right? You know what really got me out of Christianity, y'all? I'm going to keep it a buck of root, y'all. I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000. When they tell you that if you pray and ask God for forgiveness of your sins, he will forgive you and you can make it into heaven. What? So, you telling me that no matter what the fuck I do, pray and accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, I will be forgiven of whatever I done done. Is that not some more manipulative, girl, let me get the pussy, I'll buy you whatever you want to eat, or go ahead and come over here and help me with my kids and I'm going to love you back ass shit. Like, think about that. Think about that. Sound like pimping, right? You pimping your... Pimping you. Pimping. You looking at the pimps. Them. Pimping your... 10%. He want 10%, huh? 10%. God need 10%. Your money helps him up in his heaven. He need 10% of everything. If you don't give 10%, you're not no bad hard Christian. And then, you know, we don't give a fuck what you did. Long as long as you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can be forgiven. I'm cool. I don't want nothing to do with that. So you telling me this motherfucker could have raped a million kids, hurt and killed a million people for no motherfucking reason. But as long as he accepts Jesus of Nazareth as his God, his Lord and Savior, he will be forgiven and he will make it into heaven. But if this young lady or this young man who don't accept Jesus, they don't accept Jesus Christ, they don't believe in him, but they have never did any wrong to people. They, they, they help out. They give back to the less fortunate. They help people. They, um, they, they spread love through the community. Um, they do all these good deeds, but because they have not accepted Jesus, they going to hell. So fuck all the good shit they did. It don't matter because they don't accept Jesus. They going to hell. I knew then. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me get the fuck about this old Masonic. You see, all religions are, are, are part of the Masonic order. That's what y'all don't know. All religions, I repeat, are part of the Masonic motherfucking order. That's what y'all don't know. Think about that. Christianity so fucked up. 
you could be Satan himself. You could have raped a million women. They don't care. They, as long as you accept Jesus Christ, you will be forgiven him. You will make it into heaven. But if you don't accept all the good deeds you did, your ass ain't getting in. What type of shit? What type of shit? So all I got to say is I'm sorry and I'm in. How many motherfuckers motherfuck say sorry and keep doing the same shit? Right? I'm sorry. You know what I mean? That's it. You ain't got to repair none of that. I'm just sorry and I'm in. But this other person, if he don't accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior, he can't get in. So y'all not even judging people by their deeds. Y'all judging people by who the fuck accepts this fake ass Jesus story as they Lord and Savior and shit. You see what I'm saying? That's Christianity. Facts. Facts. It ain't got nothing to do with no good deeds. That's why I don't care who raped who in their churches and shit. As long as they ask for repentance, they will make it into heaven. Man, y'all mess with that bullshit. Like I said in my song, if heaven full of rapists and shit, I don't want to be in here, y'all heaven. I'm good. Rapists and pedophiles and motherfucking villains and murderers and liars and shit. That's all heaven gonna be full of because it's too easy to get in that motherfucker. It don't matter what the fuck you done did. long as you accept Jesus, your ass is in. I'm cool. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? That's more technology. So you ain't gonna judge nobody off the good deeds they putting out. You judging them based upon if they accept. And then the ones that don't accept, then they gotta go to hell. Why can't they not accept Jesus and go believe their own thing? I thought true love was free will. Why don't people have the own, their own free will to go believe in whatever gods or whatever they want to believe in? Which is what I believe in. I believe in free will. You're free to believe in whatever you want to believe in. You can believe me. You can not. You believe in Jesus. You believe that. That's on you. I'm just going to give you the facts. I'm supposed to go. I'm not going to damn you to no hell and come try to hunt you and none of that shit if you don't what? So ask yourself, why is it Christianity and these religions? It's all this bullying and shit. Nigga, you going to accept this shit or your ass going to hell, nigga. Fuck, nigga. Nigga, what you mean, nigga? Nigga, either, nigga, either, nigga, either, either you going to accept Jesus or you going to hell. Like, damn. What happened to free will? Why you so, damn, why Jesus so aggressive all of a sudden? Right, spiritual blackmail. Why the fuck is Jesus, a, he just went from, I'm your savior, the bitch ass nigga, you gonna accept this shit, nigga. And don't that sound like some gang, bitch ass nigga? Nigga, you Christian or not, nigga, what you, nigga, you better throw that C up, nigga. Bitch ass nigga. That's what it sound like, like, damn, nigga. How about, hey, you wanna come and join Christianity? No, I'm cool, okay, well, cool, have a good day. Why I gotta be, oh, you don't wanna join? Well, you're going to hell. Accept this shit, bitch ass nigga, you going to hell. All up on their toes and shit, collar like this. Nigga, like, all right, man, I'm gonna accept the hell, man. All right, I accept the shit. You let nigga they collar like this and shit, nigga, collar all jacked up. Religion jacking motherfuckers up all by their collar. Dragging them by their toes, by their collar to class. Don't nobody really wanna be in it. Motherfuckers doing it because they scared. Facts. Or they doing it because they feel they're gonna get some sort of reward, which is still worse than being scared. You're not doing it for love. You do it. He used to say he got a mansion, he got some rims, a car, he got all the food you wanna eat, so you ain't even fucking with him for him. You fucking with that nigga because he winning right now. What type of shit is that? What if Jesus, I would like to know how many people would still want to go to heaven if it wasn't no gold paved roads, if it wasn't no land of milk and honey. Would you still be trying to go meet Jesus? I just want to know. Would you still be trying to go chill with him if he, if he just, if they describe heaven like this? If they said heaven is a dark forest with a small wooded cabin where Jesus is waiting for you to spend all eternity. No, you would. They just told you that Jesus ass. Is living in a dark forest in a small cabin with no windows. And he's waiting for you. And this is where you will spend the rest of your life. That's heaven. Would you still want to go? Be real. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. And if you ain't going to say, yeah, I would still want to go to heaven. If it was in a dark forest with a wooden house with some glass, with some broken glass windows. And when I walked through the door, it wasn't nothing but a white ass nigga. With a and he was Jesus. I would spend all eternity for the rest of my life with him. And I would be completely happy. No, you wouldn't. You lying. You are lying. Stop lying to yourself. Trying to tell yourself that you're not lying when you lying. You lying. I can hear y'all thoughts. Stop lying. Yes, you know you wouldn't be trying to go to no damn heaven. No, you wouldn't. If they didn't make that shit seem luxurious, nigga, you wouldn't be trying to go. Stop lying, nigga. You wouldn't be looking forward to spending the rest of your life in no dark ass forest with no old ass cabin with no busted windows with no tall ass white man with stanky feet that smell like a dog when he get wet and shit. No, you wouldn't. No, you would not. No, you wouldn't. You would be like, man, this is hell. Every day for the rest of your life when you wake up, you look at that little busted ass window in that dark ass forest with no flowers, no plants, no animals, no beautiful sun rays. You would say that's hell. That's what the fuck you would say. So don't miss me with this whole, oh no, I believe in Jesus and religion because I'm because I love it. No, you're doing it because you're acting like a, you're being a spiritual motherfucking gold digger. That's what the fuck you are being. Fact. I don't give a fuck who get mad. Most in religion are either scared or they are being spiritual gold diggers. We just came up with a new word for y'all ass on live. Your ass is being a spiritual motherfucking gold digger because you only fucking with Jesus and Muhammad and Virgin Mary, the only virgin we know that's giving up pussy, and then Buddha because they got good shit lined up for you. So you are a spiritual gold digger. I don't want to argue about it or none of that. I don't want to talk about it no more. You're a spiritual gold digger. I don't want to talk about this shit. You're a spiritual gold digger, all right, or you're doing it because you're scared. Now, let's be real. All right, let's be real. If they ain't mention no motherfucking land and no milk and no honey, roads, no nice music and chariots and shit playing, you still want to go there? 
Okay, so we lining. So that's what we gonna do tonight to with each other. That's that's where we at. This is what this relationship has come through to class. Now we lying to each other. Huh? We lying to each other. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, so I'm not gonna let y'all lie to me. You feel me? That's what we not gonna do in this motherfucking university. You feel me? We not gonna lie to each other because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. All right. So at the end of the day, none of the motherfuckers look like you. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, y'all. Why has history been whitewashed? Who is that? George Washington. Isn't he considered the forefather of America? So that's our question, folks. Why has history been whitewashed? Question. Why has history been whitewashed? All right. Why has history been whitewashed? So we've proven that history is a spare religion. is some shit that people only be doing because they either scared or they or they being spiritual gold diggers. We just found out that ain't no such thing as an American. So we now know ain't no Latin Americans and no black African Americans. All right. So we found out thus far that African Americans ain't got no fucking nationality or no race right now. Neither those Latin Americans or no history because based upon what they're telling us about history. All right. Their history consists of Latin Americans. We know who the Caucasians, Mexicans, Arabs, Asians is, but it's two major important classes in American history that, that's missing. African Americans, Latin Americans. And when we look at them up, both of these names trace back to white men, Caucasian males. So we need to ask ourselves. Even in religion, even in their fucking religions, all right? It's not all of their gods white. Yes, they are. All of their ass is white with a little white chick. You feel me? Facts. So, why has why has history been whitewashed? Definitely the brainwashes, but the high degree of Latinos are one race. There's no such thing as a black or Latino, African American or Latin American. Okay? The high degree of race, all right? And to hide the fact that the true most powerful thing in the cosmos is dark matter energy and when it when it when it manifests on a physical level it appears as carbon all right and this same carbon used to be green blue and red before the invasion before the great invasion of 1492 this carbon was blue red or green this carbon is nothing but dark matter energy in the physical so throughout history they have went out their way to make dark or anything associated with darkness seem evil so they whitewash history into fooling you into believing that look when you go through history and you see every historian was white that lowers your self-esteem. You're like, where my people at? Subconsciously, it lowers your self-esteem. Like, where my people at? When we looked up history, all we got is a peanut butter, some hot comb, some hot combs and shit. Not too much stuff. You know what I'm saying? That they uh, that they that they give us credit for. All right. And then you know they really say that African American history is really the started with the transatlantic slave trade. They said Latin American history started with the French and Spaniard war against Latin America. All right. Against Latin America. Okay. So we know that we've been lied to on every level of history. Now. Why has history been whitewashed? What does that teach you about yourself subconsciously if every face that's important in history, be it religion, when we talk about gods, all the gods are white. When we get to history, we get to talk about major inventions, all white faces. When we get to talk about all your major important historians, all white faces and everything. Then when they trace history back, what does history trace back to people? Greece and ancient Rome, which are who? White civilizations. So in history, we have never learned about us. Never. We have yet to learn about us. We still good. We have yet to learn about us in their schooling system. The entire history has been whitewashed. We still good, y'all? The entire history has been whitewashed. Why? Because human beings are not from this planet. All right? So they want you to believe that they are. All right? And they don't want you to know who you are, so they went and stole your history from you by putting white faces on everything. Y'all with me? Somebody got to let me know we still good because somebody said we froze. I'm trying to make sure that's just him and not me. All right. But they lied and told us that white people invented everything in history. Yeah, it run deep. Same thing with religion, people. Same thing with religion, people. Same. The same thing with religion. We still in here? I don't see nobody commenting. Somebody tell me we froze. We still in here? Because it ain't froze on my end. Somebody say something. I don't want to keep going. Somebody say something because it ain't froze on my end. Before I keep going. If I got to restart it, I will. Somebody say we good. Ain't nobody saying nothing. So we must all be froze. I must, I must need to stop it. It's still freezing. Why has history been whitewashed? We good now? We on why has history been whitewashed? It's still freezing, y'all. Why has history been whitewashed? All right. Why has history been whitewashed? We we good on and off. Let me move it around a little bit. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. We gonna, we gonna stay here until they shut us down. They haven't shut us down on my end. If they shut us down on my end, I will start all the way over, y'all. 
But we on here. Why has history been whitewashed? We good now? We good, y'all? We you good? Okay. So why has history been whitewashed? They plastered white faces on everything in history from their gods to their religion. Why, people? Why? Because they want, they are not from this planet. Human beings are not from this planet. This is why they have whitewashed history. They have went out their way to put their face on every invention, every major religion, and even the gods are all white. All right? This is a direct sign that these motherfuckers did not create anything. 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 Okay? They didn't create anything. All right? This is why they had to whitewash history, people. They had to keep you believing they made everything that they smart and shit. They not smart, they dumb. They come out of caves. They was created. They are in cahoots with the reptilian shapeshifters who run everything. Okay? All right? So, they ain't create shit. But they telling you that in their history and their religion spell, though. Got you worshiping their white gods. Their, Ar God, their Arabic gods. Their Dravidian and Indian gods, right? Telling you that you a Latin American when they came and come that, that land from us and then renamed it Latin America along with Africa and every other piece of motherfucking land. All right? Let's keep going. We ain't gonna play, y'all. We ain't gonna play. What is white supremacy? White supremacy. All right. Let's see what they say about white supremacy, y'all. Let's see what, what Wikipedia going to say. All right. What? Hold on. What is white supremacy? Yeah, we don't need to go to church, y'all. We going to have church here every Sunday. Real church. You know what I'm saying? We, we going to have real church. All right. All right. So what is white supremacy? All right. Let me zoom in for y'all. All right. What, what is white supremacy? White belief that white people are superior to those of all other races, especially the black race, and should therefore dominate society. Let's repeat again. What's white supremacy, people? White supremacy is the belief that white people are superior to those of all other races, especially the black race, which would include the Latino race, and should therefore dominate society. So these human beings, which are your Caucasians, your Asians, your Dravidians, your Mexicans, and your Arabs, which are your, your human beings, they like to call us racists when we get to kicking facts. So we get to saying black lives matter. They want to say all lives matter. Motherfucker, we never said it didn't. We saying black lives matter, but here y'all come trying to fuck up our unity where all lives matter, right? Because y'all are white motherfucking supremacists. And the people that don't say nothing, they participate in the system. That's why I say fuck all them human beings. They all got to go. If you ain't trying to stand out here and make it right, you ain't got a good spirit, your ass got to go too. You'll be getting the fuck. Everything without a soul will be eradicated. All right, y'all gonna have us on y'all ass. The planet is on y'all ass. Y'all will be going through spontaneous combustion. Y'all will also have the other Anunnaki gods who are back on y'all ass. Yeah, we we got some people with us too. Y'all ain't the only ones when it clicked up. Y'all want to go click up? We when it clicked up too. Don't worry about it. All right. So with this white supremacy shit, we know that it's the belief that white people are superior to those of all races. Now, any knowing what we know about history thus far, class, if you go up to your average human being and ask them, do they believe in white supremacy? They might say no. And if they say do they support, they gonna say no. But you know they lying. How can they not support white supremacy, but they not marching to get the faces changed on all these motherfucking white historians who ain't right shit. I don't see them voting laws in to change the motherfucking faces on these guys that they got as white people, right? I don't see them doing none of that shit. None of the things that matter, they are not doing because they are all white supremacists, right? Those who throw it out there, and they don't give a fuck, and you have those that act like they care. Oh, we're not not like that. They were not like that. And then they go off alone with their other white friends and Asian friends and Mexican and Dravidian and Arabic friends and eat their motherfucking crackers and cheese and shit and sip their motherfucking um 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 no low calorie tea and shit and talk all shit about you black and Latino people all day. Talk shit all about y'all. How y'all ain't shit. How y'all ain't this. How y'all ain't that. How y'all some niggers and some spicks and wetbacks and this and that. And we need to. I'm, I'm telling you how they talk about y'all. Facts. Facts. Because if they really wasn't white supremacists and they wasn't racist, then why the fuck ain't all these white people and Asians and Mexicans and Dravidians who are supposed to be our friends as blacks and Latinos? Why the fuck ain't they marching saying, let's change the history taught in school? Why are we still lying and whitewashing history? Why the fuck is we still saying Herodotus is the motherfucking father of history and he was a white man? Why? Since we not white supremacists, since white supremacy is dead. No, it's not dead. White supremacy is like they just said, the belief that white people are superior to other races. But what are they giving white people to make them believe that they are superior? History. Religion. All right? It's still in motherfucking effect. All right? And anybody that's not out here, they go Hitler. And I show this bitch ass for a reason. I'm going to get on Hitler. All right? But <clears throat> anybody that, that, that's a human being that say they is not a white, that they are against white supremacy, but they are not trying to get them to change what they are teaching our kids. 
their history. They are not marching to get all these fucking white faces taken down as historians, which is a fucking lie. They are not trying to get religion taken down, all right? They are not trying to take the white faces off religion. If they're not doing that, they ask our white supremacists. They are benefiting off that system. The whole fucking history of us has been whitewashed. You talk blacks and Latinos that they blacks and Latinos, that ain't even they real motherfucking name, all right? Then you turn around and mistreat them in y'all country. Facts. 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 And y'all want to say white supremacy is dead? No, it's still in full motherfucking effect. This is why the Breonna Taylor and all this shit is still going on today because of white supremacy. Miss people with them whole ass rights. That don't mean shit. Fake. All right. Antifa type vibes. You feel me? Orchestrated. Nah, we're going to get it busting after December 21st. All right. We're going to see. We're going we gonna to show y'all what real power and energy is. All right. We ain't got time for the bullshit. We ain't got time for the bullshit. And then they want Hitler and shit in history. Look, right. They talked about Hitler as like he was destroyed the he Nazi and he was destroying those people over there. Do y'all know that in the Holocaust? Guess what? Another secret.